Pull up into your de-rigging area, uh, work your way from the drawbar right through to the back of the boat. Beginning with putting your reversing lock in, then loosen your safety chain shackle. They can be a little bit corroded and uh, be a bit tough to loosen. Do not remove your safety chain, leave it connected. When you're backing over the ramp, if your clutch gave way and your safety chain's not there, this may happen. <laughs> Continue with uh, connecting your rope to your boat. Uh, take up any slack, put that around the drawbar so that you don't run over it when you're reversing down the ramp. Work your way to the back of the boat. First thing you do is lift your motor. If you don't lift your motor, this may happen. <laughs> and make sure you put the bungs in. If you don't put the bungs in, you'll launch your boat, go and park your car, and when you come back, this is what you'll come back to. <coughs> Remove any tie downs, and you're ready to reverse down the ramp. When reversing down the ramp, right at the last minute, just make sure the stern of your boat is just slightly pointing away from the jetty. Uh, if it rolls off the trailer rapidly and it's pointing towards the jetty, it can ram into the jetty and the person that's holding the boat struggling to uh, keep it off the jetty. Now with most trailers, you'll sometimes find that you're, uh, as you're unwinding the boat, it's sliding off the trailer and you're not getting enough slack to unhook it. So here's a little trick. Wrap the stern wrap around the post and hold it taut like so. And then as you're unwinding the boat it'll go back a little bit and then the stern rope will hold it taut and that'll give you enough slack in the uh, winch to unhook it. Now you can remove your safety chain, flick your winch lever over uh, so you can get yourself some slack on your winch. Um, as it starts to roll back that rope that you put on the back there will go taut and that'll give you enough slack to unhook it. Once you've removed your winch hook you just walk up the jetty unwrap the rope and flick it off and the boat will just gently glide down the trailer and into the water. Use your bow rope as a brake. People tend to grab the back rope and pull that to them, the stern rope, and that tends to bring the arse head in but throw the bow out. Um, as it's going backwards, if you hold the front of the rope, then that will act as a brake for you and it'll just gently come alongside the jetty. It's very important to have a bow rope or a rope connected to your boat. If you don't, this may happen, and uh, it's quite embarrassing seeing your child sitting on a boat as it drifts out to the ocean. Now, for boating etiquette, you should always walk your boat towards the back of the jetty so that other people can still launch. Now, when retrieving, once you've come alongside the jetty, the first thing you do is you lift your motor. If you don't, this may happen. Once your trailer's backed into the water, walk your boat up to the trailer. You could virtually float it straight in using your stern rope to tie it off so you can hold it there if you're on your own, if there's no one helping you. That'll hold it there while you walk around down onto the trailer and hook your safety winch onto the bow eye. Once you start winching it up, you'll have to go and uh, slacken off the back rope so that you can winch it all the way up. Once it's winched up, remove your winch handle. You tend to lose those. Put your safety chain on and you're good to tow it out of the ramp. Or if you're uh, a little bit more experienced and your boat and trailer is rigged up for driving on, this is as simple as it gets.